The first rule of active self-help seems a bit strange, and I'll definitely admit that, is being where you are. But I'll tell you why this came about. I have over the years met a number of people who absolutely refused to be where they were. Now, something had happened to them that was pretty traumatic and they just had a real hard job getting over it, which is why, of course, they were speaking to me. But here's the example. Um, a number of people have had uh, what we might call catastrophic road traffic accidents in the sense that they caused some significant psychological or some, some significant physical distress. And I swear to you that they said to me, I cannot accept that this happened to me. I cannot accept that I was in an accident, and yet they were in an accident, right? It's like um, not accepting it, it's like it didn't happen. And it's called bending the map. It's imagining that you're somewhere that you, you're actually not, you couldn't possibly be. And people do that to a greater or lesser extent in many, many circumstances, and it's always a problem. Because if you're not where you are, if you're trying to be somewhere else. The thing is, you can only be where you are. So take a look at the first rule of active self-help, being where you are, and see if it applies to your life. Because if it does, not being where you are or trying not to be where you are is always unhelpful.